This is the KTT Strawberry Switches. Some people say that this is the smoothest and the best KTTs out there. So how do they sound and feel? Let's find out. But first, a quick message to our channel sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop shop for all your PCB prototyping needs. They do offer a lot of PCB services and currently they do have a price reduction up to 20% off for 4-6 to six layer PCB boards including bulk orders and even quotations are negotiable. If you are interested with their services, check out PCBWay.com and prototype the easy way with PCBWay. Links in the description. What is going on guys, Ox here and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while and I appreciate everyone who stuck around. I'm back and don't worry, I have a lot of new Switch reviews coming this month so please stick around. And we are back with yet another KTT Switch review and in today's video we'll be taking a look and listen at the KTT Strawberries. This is one of my most requested review that you guys asked and some of you said that this is the smoothest KTT Switches out there so let's see. So in today's video, it's going to be the usual, a stock versus loop comparison and a sound comparison versus all of the other KTT linear switches. So the sound test might be quite long but it's all good since I'll be able to showcase all of the KTT linears. Of course, we'll do the material breakdown of the switches and if you all want to hear my own thoughts and opinion about the switch, please do stick around at the end of the sound test. And speaking of sound test, let me give you guys a quick disclaimer before we start. That the sound and experience will vary depending on your keyboard build, meaning to say that it might sound and feel different on your board. We'll of course be using the Vega 65 with a polycarbonate plate, a PCB to plate foam, and one case foam. The switches was lube with a Crydox 205 grade 0 and 105 grade 0 on the springs. The keycaps that was used was a Domiki set, so with all that out of the way, please do enjoy the sound test on the KTT Strawberry Switches.
liked also Santa's on the KTT strawberries. Please do let me know on what you think about them on the comment section down below and let's have some discussion. As you know, I always try to answer your questions as I value them a lot. Before we talk about my own thoughts and opinion, you already know what's next. Let's break down the materials that was used on the switch. As you can see, these are a three pin switch. And is using an MX style housing. We have polycarbonate for the top housing, polycarbonate again for the bottom housing, and of course, our favorite palm for the stem. And lastly, the springs coming in at 62 grams. So that was a mature breakdown of the KTT Strawberry. If you made it up to this point, I would like to say thank you for staying. And again, reminding you that the sound and experience may vary depending on your keyboard build. So it might and will feel and sound different on your build. Finally, let's all talk about my thoughts on the feel. On stock, it was really smooth like I was already expecting this and to be honest, I wasn't surprised. They really feel smooth on stock and there was no scratches and I didn't get that feel of the cheap plastic feeling when typing on them and it's just great out of the box. Now of course, we always lube our switches and there wasn't really a night and day experience in terms of the feel. Of course, lubing them gives us a more smoother feel. And one thing that I really like about the switches is that it has a 62 gram spring weight as it gives that nice feel when typing. As it's not too heavy and not too light, it's just in between. I didn't feel any fatigue and mistyping when I was using them. So yeah, in terms of feel, they are really good and I can say that you can use them on the, like you can use them out of the box or stock if you don't have time on lubing. But if you do have time, of course, you can try and see for yourself. I can say that the feel is closest to the KTT Roses, but both of them are quite on par in terms of smoothness. Moving on to my thoughts on the sound. On stock, it didn't sound all over the place and it doesn't have that raw plastic sound to it. It's kinda on the low pitch of clack with a subtle deepness to it, so it's in between of high and low pitch. Once loop, it sounded the same as the stock one. To be honest, it, it there was really no night and day experience, but of course sounded it sounded more subtle and cleaner once looped. It still has that pop but with a subtle high pitch so it's not too muted or deep but not too high pitch as well. So again, it's in between. I can say that this sounds lower pitch than the other KTT switches and I kinda wish it was more high pitch on my build but again, it will still boil down to your preference. Overall, the KTT strawberries are really smooth like the rest of the other KTT linear switch. Is this the smoothest out of all? Well, that would really boil down to your preference. As for me, these are a tad bit smoother than the mints, the sea salts, and the halo halo, and the peaches. But it's on par with the roses in terms of overall smoothness on stock and lube. Regardless, all of the KTT switches that we have tried so far are really good for what the asking price is, and is a really good budget linear switch that wouldn't disappoint. I just wish that KTT switches would experiment or try different materials on their next releases. So yeah, I do recommend the KTT strawberries. So just check out the spring weights from the other three, from the other KTT switches and go from there. Again, it's still gonna boil down to your preference. So yeah. That is it for the video guys. I hope you all enjoyed and I hope you find this review helpful. If you do, please don't forget to leave a comment and of course hit the like button as it helps out my channel grow. Let's also aim for the usual, the 50 likes. What's next? Well, we do have a new Acopoem switches and some switches from Vala Supply. Again, as mentioned, I have a lot in store for this month so please watch out for that. Again, don't forget to hit the like button. Share if you want, and of course, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys on the next Soundtist.
peace.